Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Gangs. Well, we grow cool plants and author of Saving the World with the Home Garden. And today we're introducing Four Winds Growers, specifically Aaron Dillon, general manager, who has provided to us upwards of 100 blueberries. And we're going to discuss the variety and blueberry care in this particular lesson. But before we do, I want to share a little background information about what's so special about Four Winds Growers, a company I've been shopping with and researching and learning so much from in just visiting the Four Winds Growers website over the last almost a decade now, as they've got a ton of helpful information, resources, not just on, as they're known as being one of America's leading distributor of citrus trees, but it's not just citrus. It also goes into fruit trees, Mediterranean trees, exotic trees, um, and plants and vines and so much more. And I reached out to them just a few weeks ago and said, I wanna introduce something special from you guys for the Ivory Organics audience. And we narrowed it down to a blueberry and I've actually got the plants right here. You can see they're nice, easy starter plants and they've got about eight varieties of blueberries. And we narrowed it down to this particular variety being the sunshine blueberry. And we're gonna learn why this is the best blueberry for every grower of blueberries in the country and why they should be introducing this into their backyard food orchard. Without any further ado, Aaron Dillon, if you can please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about Four Winds Growers. Oh, thanks a lot, Charles. Thank you so much for having me. It's a real uh, pleasure to get to talk to you this afternoon. Um, Four Winds is a family business. I'm the fourth generation. My sister Lexa and I are running the nursery these days started by our great-grandfather back in the 1940s. And um, we grow, yeah, primarily citrus. We do about 300,000 citrus a year and uh, a lot of other fruit trees that we've thrown in the mix for home gardeners all over the place. So yeah, blueberries is definitely one of our favorites. Uh, super cool plants to grow, really productive. So of the about a dozen varieties that Four Winds Growers makes available, the Sunshine Blueberry was their number one pick for the blueberry, I don't wanna say collector, but for a first time starter blueberry variety that you wanna introduce into your food forest, this one was the one and we're gonna learn why. Why is this the number one variety that every home grower should be adding um, as a starter variety to their blueberry collection? Yeah, Charles, so the thing about the Sunshine that's great is that it is self-fruitful. So other blueberry varieties are gonna need a pollinator. So you have to grow two varieties together to make sure you get good fruit production. So that's the great thing about the sunshine is it doesn't need any pollinator. If you're only gonna grow one, that's the one. And the other thing that's really great about the sunshine is it tends to stay pretty compact. So it's a nice small plant and it's very low chill requirement. So for growers in Southern California, um, and chill is the number of hours below 45 degrees that you get each year. So typically blueberries are grown in the Northeast and the Northwest and they need really long chill hours. The exciting thing is over the last uh, 20 years, 15, 20 years or so, they've developed these hybrids that they call Southern high bush that require much less chill. So sunshine is like you said, one of our favorites because it's kind of the um, the one that's going to do the best in the widest range of climate. That's really important, especially since the Ivory Organics audience is all over the country. It's awesome right. that we're going to be able to accommodate people in virtually every state. The other thing too, in regards to self-fruitful is many of the varieties that we've now received from Four Winds Growers are already fruiting. I don't know if the camera can see that, <laughs> but there is a ton of fruit on these, which leads to... And I know you're gonna give us some planting tips. And just to let you know, as you explain those planting tips, I'm gonna be demonstrating the, those planting tips that you suggest in my home garden as I introduce the sunshine blueberry to our food forest. And, um, but before I go into the garden and demonstrate these lessons with you as you explain it, can you add towards the blueberry care tips is, should we allow it to go into fruiting in the first month, first year, so forth? Can you give us tips on fruiting? Yeah, so uh, great question, Charles. So yeah, tips on fruiting. It is actually better for the tree in the long run, the bush in the long run, if you remove the fruit for the first season. Um, it just helps the plant to really get established and kind of get its 
its uh, structure about itself a little bit more before you let it start pumping all that fruit out. So we do encourage, you know, encourage to get the fruit off that first season to, to help the plant grow and really establish roots. That's kind of the uh, my, my good good friend of mine in the nursery business had a great saying. So like the idea is that the first year you concentrate on roots, the second year you concentrate on shoots, and then that third year is when you really start getting fruit. I got it. So it's root, shoot, fruit. You got it. Yep. So if we can now get to the planting tips, what would you recommend for tip number one in regards to, um, let's say, in-ground versus a pot container? What would be the preferred method for planting it? Okay, great question. So in terms of planting, blueberries really need acidic soil right, to, to thrive. You got to get the pH down to like 4.5 to 5.5. Five. So oftentimes that can be a little more challenging to do in the ground. So growing in containers is great because you can make a very acidic mix and and keep it in the pot. And so that's a nice way of providing the blueberry the environment that it needs to really thrive. Um, if you're going to do it in the ground, you may have to amend the soil a little bit with some acidifier. Um, peat moss works really well. So if you amend that into your planting area, it can help bring that pH down to where the blueberry is going to really be in its happy state. So I love the fact that you said that the blueberries are ideal candidates for container life. And the reason being you can control the pH as well as soil condition, moisture and so forth. The other added benefit, and I know we've got a lot of people watching right now that live in condominium apartments and so forth, and they don't have that land to put it into. And again, the fact that these blueberries are, again, ideal candidates for container life and will be very productive and fruitful, it just makes it such an awesome addition, regardless of your living situation. So i um, super excited about getting these into our property, as well as introducing them to the rest of America. Um, with that being said, now that we talked about the container, tell us a little bit about soil type and how we create the ideal soil for these blueberries. Yeah, absolutely. So again, the, the key is going to be acid, you know, getting that pH down. So if you're going to make a mix to put in your pot in, in the container, you're going to want to use about maybe 60% of kind of a nice uh, bark so that you get good aeration and good drainage. And then probably about 30% peat moss, which will help get you that lower pH, and then about 10% sand. So the sand does a good job of not breaking down, you know, because the longer you keep it in a container, any kind of soil mix you put in there for the most part will break down a little bit over time. So that sand won't go away and it'll help to just kind of keep the soil having a nice aeration for the roots on the blueberry. In terms of making your blueberry potting mix, the ratios are about 60% of a nice kind of seedling type bark, not a super big bark, um, a smaller bark material to help provide good aeration, about 30% peat moss. And then the last 10% you can do sand or you could even add perlite if you prefer. And the idea is that sand and perlite are not gonna break down and they're gonna continue to add good aeration to that soil over time. That's a ton of helpful information. Now that we've got the ideal soil conditions, how about fertilizer? What are your tips when it comes to feeding your plants? Yeah, great question. So blueberries are, like I said, an acid loving plant. So you want to feed them with an acid type fertilizer, something you would use for rhododendrons or azaleas. And you don't need to feed the blueberries right away when you get them planted, you kind of wait a little bit before you would start to apply that fertilizer, wait about a month. Um, and typically you're going to fertilize late spring throughout the growing season and then stopping in about October as we move into fall. Um, depending on where you are, blueberries can go dormant. They can actually lose all their leaves. And um, in the wintertime when they're dormant, they really don't need fertilizer. So, so throughout the winter, you won't need to put fertilizer on them. Makes a lot of sense. One of my final questions to you is in regards to pruning. There's a lot of split authority I've found out there in regards to, you know, be careful when you prune because you could be pruning off your buds and the buds are going to create the flowers and ultimately, you know, contribute to your future, you know, fruit yield. So timing is really important for pruning. And what are your, so what's your advice when it comes to pruning those blueberry bushes? Yeah, that's a really good point. So, you know, really is, it's kind of a process that you will do over time. And again, like we talked about that first season, you want to take the take the flowers off, take the fruit off and let the plant establish its roots and kind of get its form set up. And then after the first year of growth, you're going to want to remove all the low growth around the base of the plant. Anything that doesn't grow up, you're going to want to prune out. 
And then you're going to want to remove any dead wood or non-vigorous twiggy wood. So you get a nice kind of um, fresh growth is what you're going to want to leave behind. In general, you're going to want to take off about a third of the, the wood each year. And you, the best time to do it is in the fall. Again, the blooming areas are going to start to go dormant. So if you prune them then, you're going to get nice new growth that comes out in spring, which is where you're going to get your, your berry production that next season. Ivory Organic is proud to be working now with Four Winds Growers for well over a year now successfully. And this is a testimonial I want to share with you from Four Winds Growers. And it reads, the Ivory Organic 3-in-1 plant garden ready to use spray are our preferred products for protecting trunks and branches on young trees and berries from sunburn and sun scald, as well as repelling unwanted insects and rodents. We recommend this product to our customers because it's organic, non-toxic, and environmentally safer than chemical alternatives. And most importantly, because it works. And that's from Aaron Dillon, the owner, general manager, Four Winds Growers. And thank you so very much for that. Thank you, Aaron, so very much for those helpful blueberry care tips. And we are also so very grateful for the fact that Ivory Organic brand products have been selling at Four Winds Growers for well over a year now. So that when you check out any of the plants and trees available at Four Winds Growers, you can also get your hands on the Ivy Organic brand products. And now to get your hands on one of these sunshine blueberries to incorporate into your backyard food forest, we have a special going on starting today. And while supplies last, and we only have about a hundred of these plants. So I encourage all of you guys to go right now to ivyorganics.com and there you'll get the sale special that's going on to get your hands on one of these sunshine blueberries. And also when we go to packing it, it will also include a bag of the premium blend fertilizer from our expired lot. Meaning simply, we're no longer selling these fertilizers that were manufactured about a year ago. The only difference between the new lot and the expired lot is that the new lot has the Omri seal on there, but the ingredients are identical. This one again has the Omri seal in the 2022 lot. I believe this was 2021, um, which we're calling our expired lot. We're no longer selling, but we're including this a about a $15 value. This is an 11.8 ounce bag and makes, as it says right here, up to 20 gallons of liquid fertilizer by simply adding about a tablespoon to a gallon of water that you can use on all of your plants. And not only does it offer the NPK, but it also offers your plants all of the macronutrients that plants need, which is six macronutrients, which include just NPK plus magnesium, sulfur, and calcium. So you're giving your plants all the macronutrients so your plants will perform optimally well. So a $15 added value with each of your purchases of the Sunshine Blueberries. And we're so excited to make this gift from Four Winds Growers and Ivy Organics a part of the 2022 growing success. If you've enjoyed this lesson brought to you by Ivory Organics, be sure to give us a thumbs up and most importantly, share us with your gardening friends and family. And as always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.